What is this? Yes. Oh, some nice closet space. Oh, I need this more. Okay. What is this closet space? I feel like, I yeah. Just another closet. There's some Lego drags in there. That'll be nice. And then here's the, I'm guessing this is a connecting door with a mirror. And then a little desk. So cute. Our view is of the parking lot, but that's okay. Cute parking lot. <laughs> Two beds, because I don't like her that much. <laughs> and then I'm guessing this is another connecting door. Probably. Probably. Um, and then the bathroom. It's like, oh, a step up. We gotta watch that. Oh, a tub. And then. This is definitely an old building, but it has so much character. And I love, that's so cute. The sun will shine after every storm. Aww. That's so cute. They do love their Emerson here. They do so love their Emerson. This is so fun. Oh yeah, and they have, um, Nest is, these like Nest is just with all the <gasps> This is with the Om Omni. Mm -hmm. Fun. This is our Asheville expert. She used to live here. So, okay. resident expert. Step down. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. <laughs> okay, we are all tucked in for our first night. Um, this room is definitely a little bit on the older side, but it is so cute, has so much character. I'm so excited to see um, what we get up to tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is our Biltmore day, so we are gonna get so much good footage and so many good memories. I'm so excited. Um, however, I did forget my camera, so phone it is. <laughs> Heading out for the day. This is our elevator. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, oh wait, go back. <laughs> Fearful Heights, early morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> On our way to Biltmore. What is this place called? Ultra Coffee Bar. Ultra Coffee Bar. We got some breakfast. Yum. So excited. <laughs> Pulling up. MK used to work here, so she's the expert. I'm so excited. Tea, matcha. It's fine. I'll love it one day. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> MK's old home. Aww. Oh. Let's see. This is my old home. Yes, I live right here. <laughs> she lived right here. Oh my gosh, wait. I told <gasps> so you. pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, we have to get pictures here because I feel like exactly. this is just perfect. There's no one on the lawn. Mm -hmm. Love. Okay, so they did move security it is literally so pretty here, but the sun, a little bit, a little bit harsh for photos, but we still got photos and I think they're going to be really cute. Mm -hmm. So what time is it? It's um, 9.25. 9.25. Our tour is at 10.15. We got here pretty early, but we can just kind of walk around maybe. Yeah, we get to walk around the gardens and explore a little bit. Yay. And... Just enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we got some chocolates. Wait, I can Ready? Oh, that's a little anticlimactic. There we go. Yum! Okay, these are cake batter. Um, this is milk chocolate and peanut butter. What's that one? Uh, creme brulee, bonbon. And vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. Love. Okay. We're taking a little bit of a break. Heading over to, what's it called? The village? The Antler Hill Village. Antler Hill Village for lunch because we're hungry. And then we're going to go back and finish. We only got like a little bit into the garden. So maybe like go see some more of the gardens, the conservatory, and do our wine tasting while we're in the village. But lunch first because we, I'm hungry. I don't know about you. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. But we just we ate one of our one. little like, she had a bonbon. I had a, what would you call it? Like a, it's like a milk. No, I had my um, cake oh, batter no, cake one. Batter, um, um, truffle. Truffle, yes. I had a truffle and it was so good. It was so yummy. But I'm definitely gonna need some actual food before we drink a lot of wine. So, oh, I think we're about to drive through. Are we about to drive by the garden? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Off to lunch. Okay, we decided to finish the gardens and now we're going to lunch slash yes. the winery to eat and drink and be merry. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a little warm, so we're gonna go cool off a little bit. Wait, you can't be merry. You're Sarah. I said be merry. Yeah, but I'm merry. She's merry. <laughs> she can be merry. I can be sad. You can be Sarah.
cannot get over this view, it's so pretty. The sunset is starting. We can open the windows in our room. Iconic. Open them and then there's little buggy screens. So that, no buggies. So fun. Don't you love our view of the parking lot? We can watch valet. <laughs> Here we are. I figured the back camera would be better quality since it's nighttime, so I don't even know if I'm in the frame, but here we are. I figured I would do a little haul of everything we got at the Biltmore today just for fun because we did get some really great goodies. Um, I spent a lot of money, but no worries because really not planning on spending money any of the other days besides like food and maybe some little things, but this was kind of like, honestly, whoever does their merchandise, 10 out of 10. It was... <laughs> so cute so gorgeous um so this one's free but you get it whenever you finish your tour of the house just like a little thank you um thought this would be cute to just commemorate so i grabbed one of those and then everything at the biltmore comes in these like little black bags which are just gorgeous i love them so much so then inside they're like paper so inside this one we have the 2024 Biltmore ornament. Um, this was kind of expensive. It was like $44. It's so pretty. It's metal. I hope you can see this. And if not, maybe I'll insert another clip once I get home. And I figured this would be something that I'll have for forever. I do collect Christmas ornaments. So this isn't like a one-off thing. I have Christmas ornaments from a lot of my travels. So I either do like Christmas ornaments or shot glasses usually. I'll go between, but they didn't really have any like super cute shot glasses. So an ornament it was. MK got two t-shirts, one for herself. Here we go. Standard Biltmore t-shirt, super cute. And then she got one for her mom as well. Also the standard but in pink, so super cute. Um, I would have gotten a t-shirt, but I'll show you what I got instead. I have a lot of t-shirts, so I was like, do I need another one? Not really. Oh, I've gotta ruin the very nice wrapping that this gentleman did for me. Honestly, everybody that worked there is just so kind, like overly kind, loves their job, loves their life, at least acts like it. Um, and it was just such a pleasant experience today. We just had such a great time. Everybody that was at the Biltmore was like 45 and over, um, I felt like. So we were the youngest there by far. And so we got a lot of attention. Um, everybody was coming up to us saying that they loved our dresses. They loved um, that we were so pretty. And I was like, this is so nice. Like you guys are just way too kind. Um, so we just really enjoyed our time today. It was just so wholesome. Definitely go to the Biltmore it, as a young, person i just feel like i love history so i just really enjoyed seeing the preservation of the house and how well they treated their employees whenever at least they say that they treated their employees well they still really do treat their employees well that's why so everybody's so happy there mk used to work there so that's why i know that um anyways i did get this little mug this is their spring collection and then on the other side it just has little <laughs> How cute! I was dying over this whole collection. I kind of wanted every single piece because it was pink and green and just so happy in spring. And this is definitely my vibe. So I love this little mug. I always drink my tea in the morning in a mug. So this is adding to my collection, of course. What is this? Oh. Um, so we did do our wine tasting and <laughs> we both got, I got two of one wine. She got two of the same one. She got two of one wine. I got one of them. Um, so we got lots of wine, <laughs> but the Beltmore wine is just incredible. And she kept bringing it home whenever she worked here and it was always just so good. But this little tea glass was $5 on sale, like originally like 13 but so, how cute is this? It was like $5 and I drink everything out of like little cute glasses. So I thought this was a really um, 
nice and it's pink come on you already know i love pink so yes and then okay so the last thing in this little bag you already saw these are the um truffles oh <laughs> there are sprinkles coming out everywhere um but these are the little truffles that we got so yummy i had my cake batter and she had her um not the vanilla one whichever was the other one she got she had that one um so i still have my reese's left i'm looking forward to that one okay last but certainly not least i got i had to get the tote guys you know i see a cute tote bag i just have to have it so this was just adorable again it has that pink and green version of the biltmore it just says biltmore it's simple it's so cute i wish this was on a t-shirt because i would have bought it okay it was on a t-shirt actually but it was long sleeved and i just couldn't like i just can't do long sleeves and the one that wasn't a long sleeve was like a women's fit with like the v-neck and then the go I don't like it just give me a unisex t-shirt with this on it it's so cute they had a green sweatshirt hoodie as well which was cute but i just have too many sweatshirts and hoodies that this is i'll read what she's reading by the way okay i think that, that is everything we got today honestly today was just so much fun we had such a good time and it was just so fulfilling we sat outside as you saw on the sunset terrace for some cocktails appetizers and dessert because we had pretty a uh, pretty late lunch about two o'clock so we also saw mk's friends today we went i almost said backstage um we went kind of like back in the kitchen of the restaurant she used to work at and she saw all of her friends so that was really nice and then we just did obviously a lot of shopping and walking around. We are tired. I am so glad to have come home and showered because I smelled so gross. I took a nap whenever we got back before dinner and I was like, I I needed it because I was about to pass away. Like I was, I was so tired from today, but what a fulfilling and exciting day. It was just such a good time. And I would highly recommend the Biltmore, especially in um, the spring whenever they have like their beautiful blooms out. I would love to see it at Christmas as well. I'm sure it's gorgeous. And then um, also we came on a Monday. So because we both work in hospitality, it's easier for us to get off on weekdays. So we came Sunday night through. We're leaving on Wednesday. We came on Monday to Biltmore and then we had about a 10, 15 um, time slot for the house. So that was a pretty good like little time slot. Um, there weren't many people in the house. We could kind of walk around, roam around and do the audio tour without feeling like we were hustling through or anything of that sort. They do a good job of like spacing people out, I will say. And yes, I just cannot rave about this enough. I would highly recommend this to anybody that comes to Asheville or near it. Please visit the Bilt Biltmore. You can hike, you can walk, you can drink wine, you can go to the house, you can picnic like there's so many good things to do um it's not just like the house the entire grounds um you can ride horses i would love to do that one day that's super cool so yes uh, we just loved it and i just that's it i'm gonna rave about the rest of my life okay good night gave us so many pound cake bites. Yum. <laughs> Thank you.
was so busy in there. Very busy. Shit! Oh gosh. Hey.